Donald Trump is a scab. Sean Fain, the president of the United Auto Workers, blasting the former president while endorsing the current one, Joe Biden. So if our endorsements must be earned, Joe Biden has earned it. Unions built the middle class. Biden spent months courting the union support, even joining a UAW picket line last year, a first for a sitting president in modern times. Biden's push to promote electric vehicles upsetting some auto workers, but in the end, the union came around. Look, I kept my commitment to be the most pro-union president ever. I'm proud you have my back. Let me just say I'm honored to have your back and you have mine. As Biden looks to the fall campaign, former President Donald Trump voicing his frustration that he still faces a primary challenge from former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley. I find in life you can't let people get away with bull okay, you can't. Trump going on the attack Tuesday night, saying Haley should drop out after losing to Trump by double digits in the New Hampshire primary. This is not your typical victory speech, but let's not have somebody Take a victory when she had a very bad night. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. Haley defiant in her concession speech Tuesday night, arguing that voters want a Trump alternative in the Republican primary. With Donald Trump, you have one bout of chaos after another. This court case, that controversy, this tweet, that senior moment. You can't fix Joe Biden's chaos with Republican chaos. Meanwhile, Biden and his campaign took another step to highlight his support of abortion rights as the campaign gets underway. The White House announcing that Katie Cox will be the first lady's guest for the State of the Union on March 7th. Cox sued her home state of Texas to try and get an abortion after a fatal condition was detected in the fetus. Ultimately, she had to leave the state to get that abortion. And with New Hampshire now behind us, the focus in the Republican campaign is on the Nevada caucus set for February 8th, where Trump is all but guaranteed victory since Haley is not even on the ballot. That's going to be followed by a primary in Haley's home state of South Carolina on February 24th. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozloff, Spectrum News.